we see our here a pretty good setup. Uh, the uh, left shoulder could be back a little bit more towards the blue line. Uh, but all in all, this is a pretty good setup. I'm going to blow it up a little bit because I want you to see uh, some hyper flexibility here. Uh, see how the elbows are actually kind of moving in together. Uh, that's okay, but we've got to make sure as they stay in that relationship through impact. So let's just draw in where the arms are. Let's execute a swing. I'm going to come back to impact position and look what's happened. They're not there anymore. The problem one is the lead one. If that lead arm now was elbowed down instead of leaving her body like this, she would be generating a lot more power. The club would have rotated with her hands because the elbow would be down, the hands would be up, and I'd be seeing the fingers of the glove hand now under the right hand, and I can't. If we go back, you can see, you can see the fingers here of the trail hand. So as we get to here, we should be in exactly the same position. This is what we call lifting the ball off the tee. Uh, so for her, I think that's the critical error that she's going to have to work on. The rest of her body stays in great place. If she can just get that elbow down against her body, like the right elbow is against her body, and then extend down the target line, she's going to be in a great place. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good swing. Uh, I'm going to uh, get it back to normal size, clear everything out of the way. Got a nice smile on her face. She must have thought that was pretty good herself. So let's go ahead and play it. We'll do it in uh, slow motion at about half speed and just watch the swing. Good rhythm, good takeaway right there. Hard to even see that anything went off with that elbow, isn't there? 